speaking of wigs and coins, no, not really, but we're gonna talk about Meghan Markle. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about Meghan Markle and bullying because there has been a lot of back and forth between the palace, the firm, and Meghan saying, you bullied me, no, you bullied me. There is, over the last two years since they left royal life, there's been a lot of accusations getting thrown around, but there is a new report from the UK Times London that says it might have been Meghan who was doing some of the bullying. Now, two days before the Tell All CBS interview, the UK Times released a report saying that they were looking into Meghan Markle bullying her staff. Seemed like sort of a... Uh, <laughs> lashing out at her. Because right, it was right two days before the interview. Was two days said. before the interview. It was a little bit sketchy timing before the interview. So we were like, eh, are they just hurling a stone to try to soften the blow that they're going to get from this tell-all interview? But now we are hearing that uh, sources tell the Times uh, UK, the Sunday Times UK, that Queen Elizabeth does not want these findings released. Now, sources are telling them that this is because they don't want any more bad blood between the Sus Sussexes and all the families that are still in the royals. Now, I think this was sort of even a little bit more shady that the firm to do, saying, we completed the investigation, and because we don't want to hurt anyone, we're not going to release anything. You I know? just think it's not cool, because the British taxpayers are who pay the salaries of the royal family. And so if this was an investigation yeah. into what went on in the firm, I think they, you know, the public deserves to get a full explanation. Fair enough, freedom of information, they did pay for it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh God, I mean, I can't believe it's been only two years. So you said two years sure. since, yeah. I mean, it feels like it's been so long since this has been this turmoil between William and Harry and Meghan and the family and oh my God. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I think it, it's classic the royal family to I say that they're doing something to protect someone and then it usually drags more attention to it. <laughs> kind of like yes. when it was like, oh, they're not gonna sit next to each other at this, right. the most recent Jubilee stuff, Adam, because yeah. we're trying to avoid the speculation. And it's like, oh, really? Because if you just sat them next to each other, like, I don't know, I just feel like it, it, you can't win, I guess, anyone in this side can't no. win. True. But the classic, like, we're not doing, we're not doing this to protect someone says its own thing. So I don't know. I feel like True. let it speak for itself if whatever's in this report, I don't know. Agreed, because it's like, tell me Meghan Markle was bullying her staff without telling me Meghan right. Markle was bullying like, her staff. It doesn't make me think that she's innocent. It like, sure, it does they don't quite want the us opposite. To. So I don't know. They do not. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.